Hi guys, after day one of uh, using Arma um, Outcast, we have broken a few things, which was a bit surprising. And uh, even more surprising was the fact that the HSP, there was a collision, head-on collision between HSP, which is this one, and the Arma Outcast, of course. The front bumper of Outcast broke and it was literally just a plastic piece attached with no shocks, no shock absorbers or any sort of um, intermediary thing between the main chassis and the bumper. It was a, literally directly attached uh, to, the, to the main chassis, which was a bit surprising. And the collision happened between these two vehicles and surprisingly the $300 HSP has a proper shock absorber mechanism between the chassis and uh, the bumper so it it took the brunt of the impact and uh, so this shock has been damaged a little but I think it is something which is fixable there are screws to actually uh, take it off which I will now and uh, the metal piece just just look at the impact uh, the metal piece between the chassis and the bumper has has literally bent if I can let you guys see that oops it's slightly difficult to do that but maybe if you can see this it's, it's literally bent, but all of this is fixable, uh, nothing major. But the surprising fact was that a thousand dollar or 700 something dollar vehicle versus a 285 dollar vehicle, uh, at least the front part was uh, of HSP is much better than uh, that of Arma. So let me know if you guys know anything or any technique that I can use to actually put some sort of a spring mechanism or a cushion in between the chassis and the uh, and the broken bumper of Arma, which I'm going to fix now. Uh, and uh, I'll try those things out and we'll share the video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.